French resorts are currently feeling the cold, with lower than normal temperatures. High resorts were enjoying powder skiing on Thursday, thanks to the fresh snow that fell earlier in the week. It was a similar story in Austria, where the low temperatures and recent snowfall provided excellent skiing in most resorts. Swiss resorts enjoyed a snowy day on Thursday. Heavy snow is forecast at many resorts on Sunday and Monday, which could bring an excess of 50 centimetres to areas like Zermatt. Perhaps the best skiing in Europe at the moment, though, can be found in Andorra and Spain, both of whom have enjoyed a heavy recent snowfall. Andorra saw up to a metre fall this week, with Spain welcoming 35 centimetres in just 24 hours. Many Colorado resorts received a dusting of fresh snow too. Around 10 centimetres fell in many areas, including Breckenridge and Copper Mountain. Good skiing can be found throughout Canada. Resorts on the east side of the country are experiencing temperatures as low as minus 24 in Tromblant and Mont St. Anne. Sunshine and clear blue skies are forecast for the weekend throughout the country. The cold and snowy weather that's made headlines in the UK has given a boost to Scotland's ski areas and allowed some to reopen in time for the weekend. After a week of heavy snow and poor visibility in Revelstoke, Canada, the Mac Daddy face burst through a sea of cloud and provided perfect conditions for the opening stage of the tour to get underway. Modern ski equipment can actually make it a bit easier to get skiing away from the groomed runs. If you are going to do this, then familiarise yourself with the dangers, make sure you're aware of what the conditions are like for that day, the time of day, the aspect and the terrain that you're going to be skiing on. You might see quite a lot of people wearing avalanche airbags, and these can help if you get caught in a moving avalanche. As I often say with these things though, make sure it fits. If it fits, you're going to be wearing it, and then it can help you if you need it. If it's uncomfortable and you don't wear it, it's of little use. Airbags fill up and increase your service area and we're going to show you now what it looks like when you set one off. To set them off is easy, it's just a case of pulling the handle. When inflated, they increase your surface area and this is what helps float you up in a moving avalanche. You've set it off because there's been a danger. So leave them inflated until you're well away from any area that is dangerous, such as back to a safe piece. More top advice there from Al. Remember there are loads more tips on kit and equipment on Ski Club TV. That's it for this snowcast. Next week we've got a report from an FIS ski across event in Lake Contamine, so don't miss it. We'll leave you now this week with more footage of the snow from Gran Valara and Dora. Enjoy!